Welcome, guys. Now, in our last class, we talked about indices. And we put a stop at the first law of indices. In our last class, we said indices are guided with several laws. And we look at the first law of indices. And in the first law of indices, I kindly explain that the law says that whenever you have the same base multiplying each other, you take one of the base and you add up the power. Now, we are, today, we are going to look at the second law of indices. Now, we also look at the second law of indices. The second law of indices says that whenever we have the same base dividing each other, you take one of the base and you subtract the power. It's kind of similar to that of the first law, but the first law says that whenever we have the same base multiplying each other, you take one of the base and you add up. But here in the second law, whenever we have the same base dividing each other, you take one of the base and you subtract of the power. Now, in this system, we have a raised to power n divided by what? A raised to power n. So in this instance, let us look at it. In this instance, we have the same base dividing each other, which implies we are going to take one of the base, which says A raised to power what? n minus n. Now, this is the second law of indices. Now, we give an example, e.g. We give 27 divided by 3 raised to power 2. Now, that's Roma figure 1 example. In this instance, did they have the same base? No. They don't have the same base. But we can decrease 27 to the lowest base of 3. In this instance, we can do it like this. We says 20, 27. Now, what can divide 27? Can 1 go into 27? Yes, can go, but it's still give up back 27. Can 2 go into 27 without it? that? No. But can 3 go into 27 with, without it? Yes, it can go, which is 3 in 27, which is give us 9. 3 in 9 will give us 3, and 3 in 3 will give us 1. So how many 3 do we use? 3 times 3 times 3, which implies 3 raised to the power 3, which will give us what? 27. Which implies, when decreasing this 27 to the lowest base, we say 3 raised to the power 3 divided by what? 3 raised to the power 2. Now, they are not, not applicable to the second law of indices, which says that whenever we have the same base, dividing each other, you take one of the base, and you what? You subtract of the powers. We say 3 raised to the power 3 minus 2, which implies 3 raised to the power, 3 minus 2 will give us what? 1, which implies 3 raised to the power 1 is still the same thing as what? 3. Now we look at the second example, which you have in this instance. We have x raised to the power 3, y raised to the power 2, and we have z raised to the power 4, divided by x raised to the power minus 3, y raised to the power 2, z raised to the power 2. Now, let us work it. We continue from here. Now, the solution. Look at it in this instance. We take them, those ones that have like terms, we take them one by one. Now, in this instance, we have x raised to the power 3 divided by x raised to the power 2. Now, we take it here, which we take it equals to x raised to the power 3 divided by x raised to the power minus 3. By taking those ones that, are look, that look alike, that have common things, common terms. Now, we have y y raised to the power 2 divided by y raised to the power 2. In this system, we have y raised to the power 2 divided by what? y raised to the power 2. And the next one, we take our z also. z raised to the power 4 divided by z raised to the power 2, which implies z raised to the power 4 divided by what? z raised to the power 2. Raised to the power 2. In this instance, we split those things. We take all those common terms together. We bring those common terms together x for x, y for y, and z for z. That's what we did here. Now, in this instance, you follow this once, they follow the second law of indices, which says whenever you have the same base dividing each other, you take one of the base and you subtract of the power. We have the x here, x raised to the power 3. Now, we have the division sign here. So, the division sign, we subtract the power up here. And the power also has an initial word, minus 3, which means that we have a word, three minus, 2 minus there. In this instance, here also we have the second law of indices that says whenever we have the same base dividing each other, we have y raised to the power 2 divided by y raised to the power 2. We take one of these, we say y raised to the power 2 minus 2. And here also we have what? The same law, second law of indices that is applicable. 
which says that whenever we have the same base, dividing each other, we take one of the base, and you what subtract up with power, which says 4 minus 2. In this instance, we have equals 2. Now, x, we have 3. Minus times minus will give us what? Plus, which is 3. Here we have y, this power 2 minus 2 will give us z. Now, here we have z, 4 minus 2 will give us what? 2. So, from here, equals 2, we have x, 3 plus 3 will give us what? 6. And here, we, in brackets, y raised power 0, anything raised power 0 is known as what? 1. And in this instance, we have z raised to power 2. Now, from here, we now tell them, x raised to power 6 times 1 will give us x raised to power 6, z raised to power 2. So, we have it here. So, we are going to stop here in this class. In the next class, we are going to talk about the third law, the fourth law, the fifth law of logarithm, of indices, I mean. Sorry for that. Now, please just make sure you join us on our YouTube channel. You subscribe on our YouTube channel, which is Samson's Tutor. And you also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. So please and please join us and make sure you subscribe on our YouTube channel in order to watch more of our, of our tutorial classes. Thank you and God bless you.